Hi friends, all for art and art for all. All right, let's do a cute little Tasmanian devil. Let me start with his back. So the neck is going up just a little, so up just a little, and then up the other direction and curve back. So I'm gonna go up the other direction and then curve back. I'm gonna leave myself room for my tail because my tail is gonna go over and up. And I'm gonna come down below that and make kind of a thicker tail there. So go in the same direction. My tail comes a little farther past, right? It doesn't just stop straight down, it goes in that way. And my leg kind of keeps going that direction. So the leg keeps going in and then it's gonna curve back out the other way and then curve back in. And the foot, the base of the foot is going to be flat on the ground and curl back on itself. Gonna curl back on itself and then the leg's gonna go up that same direction and now my knee and everything else is gonna curl out that way. So I leave some room, not too skinny. And then there's the other leg on the other side, I can see, kind of making that same, almost that same shape, right? That's the leg on the other side. Maybe I even put the toe sticking, sticking out a bit. Okay, now my belly, my belly is below my tail. So here's a little line for my belly. And I'm going to come down and try and put the foot at this level. So there's the base of my foot meeting up with that. And up. And now I'm not going straight up, I'm going forward. So I'm gonna go up and then forward a bit. So up and then forward a bit. And then my other leg is gonna come down and it's gonna be higher up, look like it's higher up, but it's just on the other side of the body. And then the neck here is interrupted by the ear. So let me put the line where the ear is gonna come up and then the ear is gonna go so at an angle and then back up, back around and then down again and it meets the head like that and that little line that goes over represents kind of the fur right so there's some fur in the ear now my overall head should be kind of forming a triangle right and where is my nose my nose is my nose is about this level so if i'm holding my nose here and like drawing a pretend line, it comes to my back. So there's my back. So my nose wants to be out there somewhere. So I'm gonna come from the top of my ear. He's got kind of a thick blocky head. So there's the top of my ear. And I'm gonna come down, bend down a little bit more for the skull, forming where it's gonna have the eye sockets in there. I'm gonna go out, out, down, change directions. Make that like a little rhombus in there. Leave the tip of it white for kind of a highlight. The fur comes around here. I'm going to make the top of the eye look just like a little arch and then put a ball below that. Maybe I leave a little bit of white showing on that guy. The mouth is coming at an angle. I use my hand to kind of practice that line. Okay, which direction is that? It's like this. So, and where does it stop? It stops before the end of the eye. Okay, so don't take your mouth way out here and it shouldn't be there. The lower jaw comes down a little and then 
follows that same line and we're meeting our chest. So I'm gonna come in below the line of the mouth and then I'm coming down. And so this guy's got a little white kind of blaze there. I'm gonna give him an ear on the other side of his head. It's about the same level as the eye showing up on the other side. And there's my Tasmanian devil. You can go in here and make some of these lines thicker. And I'm gonna maybe make part of my tail thicker, maybe some of my chest, maybe some of the lines right in here. And there we go. This little line here was more of a coloration in the fur, not so much a, uh, wasn't actually the line of the mouth. So that's kind of a change in the fur. So there is my Tasmanian devil. All right, friends, all for art and art for all.